What's up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and today I got you guys some breaking news regarding the NASCAR Authentics 2020 wave. This is going to be some leaked photos that were provided by one username on Instagram and also on YouTube. So if you guys remember that, the uh, hashtag Authentics fan uh, contest slash giveaway that Lionel did, they had like three... They had like three different uh, prizes to give out, but the grand prize was that uh, the winner, which I'm about to provide the username of this uh, of the winner in a second, because he provided some photos for us about this leaked wave. Um, yeah, the grand prize winner was able to be guaranteed to get uh, every single 2020 wave for free shipped to his or her house, and um, luckily uh, <laughs> we actually know who this person is it's actually a very new youtube channel but he also has an instagram account as well so i'm going to give him plenty of shout outs in this video because these photos that he provided on instagram and on um his youtube channel as well um by the username of nick r underscore 42 so that is nick r underscore 42 and i also provide his uh, the, his youtube channel uh, in the um, link in the description as well because uh <laughs> this is probably going to be the youtube channel to look out for for this year uh considering that um this individual is actually gonna get all the nascar authentics 2020 ways way earlier than the announcements on the fix videos so <laughs> um so i mean expect a lot of uh, leaked uh, wave reviews coming out very soon considering how this is gonna go so clearly lionel didn't think that well through but um hopefully uh <laughs> with how things are going we'll see how that goes but anyways you guys probably wonder okay um let's see what we got for the first 2020 wave guys so once again these photos are provided by nick r underscore 42 and here we go guys so the 2020 waves so as you can take a look right here we got a collage of all the uh cars are in this wave and if you notice a pretty big difference it is a very big difference we got ourselves another packaging overhaul guys so uh lionel uh updated the packaging and it's uh i mean it's pretty cool it's really cool it's gonna take some time to get used to i understand that i mean we had not had a package design update uh for tw since uh 2018 which they reused in 2019 so i believe this is what like the third time they've uh, updated this now and um I, it's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of uh, how they did it with the 2017 uh, packagings, um, wh where they added a lot more color to the packaging, so you can understand or find out an easy way of uh, what car is which <laughs> uh, when you're scrolling through the shelves. So I mean, totally understand that, guys. But it does look really cool, and I don't know. I mean, this packaging design, like I said, it's gonna take some time to get used to, but it really kind of has like a like a vintage or throwback vibe to it. If you think about it, with the bright colors and the fonts and the letters, I mean, pretty easy to spot. So it's definitely, I mean, if you guys get to already, the NASCAR Authentics are definitely marketed for a younger audience. I mean, then clearly this packaging <laughs> is giving you the answer right there. But still the hardcore diecast collectors like myself who are in their 20s are still going to collect these. But I mean, you just definitely see where they are marketing it to. But wow, this is really cool, guys. So let's go and get things started, guys. Uh, we're going to go in the order that... Um, where that that uh, these photos were provided were provided and let's see right here we go down through the list and the first one up we got to talk about a Don's throwback car guys and all these cars i'm showing you guys are 2019 so we are not having any 2020 cars released for the first wave of 2020 kind of like what happened last year but you know that's typical but here we guys go we got uh, the first Don's throwback car released in this wave for the 2020 waves and it is a one of the first 164 exclusives this one the, this wave has a lot of 164 exclusives and race wins but this one's not a race win but it is kyle larson number 42 clover dawn's throwback chevrolet camaro zl1 for chip ganassi racing um as you guys may know that this car was also released in the 187 scale version in a two-pack on um the latest nascar authentics 187 scale wave which i am still going to be doing that guys that wave review for you guys i just had that I, I, I just uh, got to get to it because, <laughs> um, you know, the 164 collectors are, you know, more in, in demand. But, yeah, guys, the uh, Don throwback car, guys. Um, you know, this car, like I mentioned, was canceled in the 164 ARC scale. But glad to see you get uh, this is another throwback car that fell into that category. And it got saved by NASCAR Authentics. So, I mean, <laughs> if you're looking for Don throwback cars that get canceled, I mean, look no further to NASCAR Authentics. 
That's something they have done for quite a while now. But this one in particular is pretty cool. It's a throwback to Ricky Craven's uh, 1995 and 1996 uh, Kodiak scheme. But in terms of accuracy, I mean, it's a better looking throwback. And it's almost accurate, unlike the 2018 uh, throwback, which was not even a throwback at all. <laughs> not even accurate. But this one, I mean... I do have some nitpicks with the accuracy of the throwback. I mean, this car, it, 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 this is a perfect um, representation of the car that he drove at the Southern 500. But in terms of accuracy toward the original paint scheme, why the hell does this car have orange numbers? I really do not know why this car has orange numbers. I mean, maybe Clover requested to have orange numbers, but the original paint scheme is supposed to have white numbers. And I know the green is supposed to be like a lot more, uh, uh, like a lot more brighter and lighter. Uh, the green where it hits the quarter panel and the McDonald's logo. But I mean, I'm assuming that has to go with the theme of the Clover logo because you know I'm sure they have that. Uh, they have the copyright and licensing for that color. So. Um, but, you know, I mean, the green doesn't really bother me too much, but, I mean, it does look like a tacky paint team, but I think it would look a lot much better with the uh, white numbers. I mean, the orange just looks really odd, in my opinion, but still a nice looking throwback. I probably would recommend getting it, um, even regardless of kind of how ugly the paint team looks a little bit, but, hey, whatever. Next up, this is one of the cars that I highly recommended for Wave 12 and NASCAR Authentics, and it looks like uh, Lionel decided to put it in for the 2020 Waves, but... This car does have a little screw up to it. It is Alex Bowman's uh, first cup win, guys. The Chicagoland uh, Exalta race win Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for Henry Motorsports. Um, and by, I mean, screw up is that uh, this car was supposed to have, um, I know they can't do molded out damage, but the quarter panel is supposed to be blown out. Now, I know they can't do it for the 164s, but at least put like a decal there or something to cover it up. I mean, I know it does look tacky and weird, but heck, they did it with the Martrix Junior Homestead car. Um, why can't they do it with this one? Um, and there's another car that has this same problem, same problem too. I mean, some people are still going to like that regardless. Some people don't really like the um, the, the decal damage. Um, well, the decal that's supposed to represent the damage, but... I mean, it's still a cool looking car regardless, guys. I mean, this is going to be a pretty popular car for sure because, you know, a lot of people have been asking me when this Bowman car was going to get released in the 124 scale. And I bet you're weird that this 164 is going to be just like that as well. So, also, if you look, guys, the, the um, if you look pretty closely, that the trading card also got a, a little overhaul as well. Um, you can see, you, uh, you can see it's a lot more easier to read of what this, uh, what, uh, what race this, uh, what race this car is, as you can tell it says Chicago so I mean that's pretty cool like I said I mean it definitely is a lot more easier to read especially for the younger audiences out there so um yeah really nice I'm digging this a lot guys really really great edition next up I'm definitely gonna go crazy over this one it is Martin Truex Jr's number uh, 19 Bass Pro Shops uh Sonoma race win and just like the Bowman and <laughs> the um the Larson throwback this is a the third 164 exclusive that we got so so far in terms of you know to get exclusive diecast this is the wave to go right now guys so another cool looking race win that is literally confetti i mean i know they can't put the confetti on the uh, windshields for the 164s but it still looks really cool regardless guys i mean the bass pro shop scheme was you know in the top 10 list for for the best selling diecast so i mean it's going to be no surprise that they were going to make... I mean, I was expecting at least one March Rex Jr. or two raced wins. Um, wouldn't be surprised if we get his Dober car probably in the next few waves. But the Sonoma one does look really cool, and I do like that a lot. And um, my god, I, I, am, I am really digging that training card a lot. I mean, it, like I said, it still takes time to get used to with this whole new design um, with everything going on. But that is a really nice looking car right there, especially me being the Truex fan. <laughs> Uh, let's see next up uh, this one. I'm not surprised and I did mention uh, I did do a review on this car uh, From the uh, that I got from the motorsport show. It is Chase Elliott's uh, 2019 Napa Auto Parts Watkins Glen race win Honestly, I'm not surprised this car was gonna get released in NASCAR Authentics regardless because they've had every single Chase Elliott race win car produced so <coughs> This one I'm honestly not surprised and I am trying to see if uh, the Napa, yeah, it looks like the Napa metallic finish is screwed up on this again, so it's not a big difference right there. And for the love of God, is is that a paint chip I see on the side skirt? I hope to God that is not a paint chip, because that's the case, then, oh, oh boy, that's not good. 
Uh, next up, uh, this card that I'm featuring right here is also going to be the liquid color cheese piece, but we do have, we do not have the photo of that. Um, but it is going to be Bubble Wallace is number 43. Victory Johnson Donson throwback. Um, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for Ridge Petty Motorsports. This is another, this was another fan favorite of Don throwback scheme. And I almost planned on getting this car in the 164 Gold Series, but I had a feeling they were going to release it in NASCAR Athletics. And, heck, really cool to have this. And they also did release a two-pack version of this as well in the 187s um, with the liquid color variant. So, I mean... So if you guys love the liquid color cars, then you will be able to get a 164 version of this. But like I said, this is not the photo of that. This is just the standard car. And I can prove my point that this is the uh, liquid color chase piece. Because if you look at the back of the packaging, um, it does say to look for the uh, Bubba Wallace uh, Victory Johnson chase piece. So luckily that, that gives us an indication of what to expect for all you, uh, for all you chase piece scalpers out there. <laughs> um... And you apologize, I am a little under the weather, so if my voice starts going a little, you know, you know scratchy and all that, then just tell, just letting you guys know, I'm not dying, so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, even the back looks pretty cool, this packaging, but, yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to uh, going back to the bubble car. Uh, bubble car? Wow, I said bubble. Wow, that's the first. The Bubble Wallace car. Um, I'm going to say that now when I review a Bubble Wallace car now. <laughs> um, this is a nice looking car, guys. As you guys know, it's a Don's throwback to, uh, Adam Petty's a spree car that he drove in the uh, Bush series. So, um, yeah, I'm digging this a lot, guys. This was, like I said, a big fan favorite scheme, and it was right up there in the top five of one of the cool looking paint schemes for this for uh, 2019. And glad to see it's in NASCAR Authentics. So, absolutely cannot go wrong with this one. All right, the next one up right there, we got ourselves yet another race win diecast that's exclusive in the 164 scale. It is going to be Kevin Harvick's number four, Mobile One Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing. This is the scheme that he drove not only and won at the Indianapolis race, but this diecast I'm referring to is his Michigan race win. So, um, yeah, I mean, we usually do it. I mean, we, the only other Michigan race win 164 diecast that we ever got released were the uh, Kyle Larson 2017 wins, the Cars 3 one, and the, the, uh, the target one so cool to see the return of some michigan race wins i mean i'm surprised we didn't got a joe logano michigan win because you know we still did not had a shell penzoil card the the, the uh, shell penzoil car the scallop scheme i am aware we had the throwback scheme but i mean it's still fine and ironic but who knows maybe that'll be a suggestion for wave two because like i said we will probably still get some 2019 cars but um this is probably gonna be the least favorite out of the rest of the cars i'm showing you guys just because it's very underrated but it does have the updated logos to it with the nascar heat 4 uh nascar heat uh, 4 and pro league logo so you know looks pretty cool and i'm sure the harvick fans out there are gonna like this regardless and uh I also like how the uh, uh, the Michigan winner, uh, where, where the trading card is, it's a different color compared to the red ones that we had with Sonoma and the Chicagoland wins. So, um, some good variation in not only the packaging, but also in the trading cards. So, really nice looking right there. Uh, next up, another Race to Win 164 exclusive. Um, it is, again, it does not have the molded out damage like the Bowman Chicagoland win. But um, I know my good buddy Diecast Buffet is going to love reviewing this car because he is a big fan of this paint scheme. I am as well. It is the Brad Kozlowski 2019 Worth Ford Mustang for, uh, Penske, for uh, Team Penske. And this is the car that he drove and won at the Kansas race, which was a very exciting race. But it does not have the uh, molded out damage, of course. Like I mentioned, we can't do that with the 164s. But um, this one, I probably would give a pass because even if they added a black, uh, even if they added like a black decal around it, I mean, it would probably match to the paint scheme. I mean, we would just not see a Snap-on logo. And, you know, it, I mean, that's a tough call. I don't know. They probably could have grayed it out or do something because it does, it looks cool regardless with all the confetti on it. But if you already have the Worth car that was released a few waves ago from 2019, then, you know, Unless you're a big Kozlowski fan, I would recommend getting this, but otherwise, this one, I don't know, I mean, if you really do love this paint scheme, I mean, I, I would get both versions. I mean, it's definitely not a bad looking die cast. I mean, it, it does look really nice. I do love this paint scheme, and I'm glad it won, because, <laughs> uh, my god, that would have been a bummer if this beautiful paint scheme never won <laughs> a race. But luckily, it did, and i um, glad to see it's going to be returning again for 2020, but cool to have the uh, clean version and the race version so i mean it, it makes everybody happy 
And the last two I'm about to show you are probably the two biggest freaking fails that Lionel has ever done. Uh, I mean, in terms of picks, they are actually really cool diecast, but the quality is freaking atrocious. No, they're not PTC molds, and joining along with Brad Kazowski, we had to talk about uh, one of his teammates in the Xfinity series, Austin Sindrick. Austin Sindrick is number 22 Money Lion Ford Mustang 14 Penske. This is the playoff version as you can tell right here so i mean this is the first time we ever got a playoff xfinity car and uh the first time austin Cindric is released in the nascar authentic slide but if you look pretty closely guys how i mentioned that this is a nascar xfinity car what is missing on this car well you know where that net i mean first of all what the hell is a nascar official race car logo doing right there i mean i know this is supposed to be on the a pillar but since it is a playoff car um as you can see, the round of eight right there on the A-pillar, that t usually takes place of the NASCAR official logo, the NASCAR official race car logo. But we're supposed to have a NASCAR Xfinity Series logo where that race car logo is. So big fail right there. And look at the amount of paint chips are on this car, guys. I mean, look at that. We got one underneath the Goodyear Eagle logo. We also got one on the two. We got one underneath the L where the money lion is. I mean, my God, this car is literally screwed up. But I think just that logo uh, pl that logo placement alone does look really bad. And I believe this is not supposed to have a red splitter. I mean, um, I mean, it's supposed to have a red splitter with a little bit of white, but as you can see right there, the whole splitter is all white and you got a little bit of red. So in terms of accuracy, this car is not very accurate at all. Not at all. Um, so that is definitely going to bug some people out there, but, you know, we haven't had an Austin Cinder car released in the 164 scale car yet. I mean, well, for the Money Lion scheme, but, um, I, I believe he drove the scheme and won it at, Mar at, uh, at the, um, at the uh, Watkins Glen race where he got his first win ever in the Xfinity series. So, I mean, it is going to be pretty historic. I mean, it would have been a great suggestion to make that, you know, a race to win, but, we rarely get race win Xfinity cars, but that would have been cool compared to the playoff car. But, I mean, still looks really cool regardless, but I don't know. I mean, just that error alone is really going <laughs> to suit me up to do a rant review probably. And speaking of rant reviews, we got to talk about the last diecast that is in this wave, and it is a Ryan Blaney car. And this is yet another exclusive. I mean, all these cars I showed you guys, I believe, are mostly 164 exclusive, which I believe is a first for NASCAR Authentics. We have never had a wave before that has almost a 164 exclusive diecast. Almost, all right? <laughs> I mean, if it was for that Bubba Wallace car, and the uh, if it was for the Bubba Wallace or the Chase LA cars, this would have been a strictly exclusive 164 wave. That means all these diecasts I'm showing you guys, you can't get anywhere else besides the Bubba Wallace, Donaldson throwback car, and the Chase Elliott Walkins Glenwin. But here we guys go. The last car to be talking about, it is Ryan Blaney's number 12 Richmond Water Heaters Menards Ford Mustang for Penske, uh, for Team Penske. Uh, so this is yet another playoff car. Uh, and this is just a big freaking fail. I mean, first of all, there's a lot of paint chips. I mean, look at the paint chip right where that orange Menard uh, stripe is, where the Goodyear Eagle logo is. I mean, my God. But I think the biggest fail of this car of all, there's actually, <laughs> oh my God. How can Lionel screw this up? So as you can see that the, uh, the magnet that comes with this, it is a round of eight magnet. But if you look on the eight pillar, it says round of 12. Okay, last time I checked, I don't think Ryan Blaney drove this car in the round of 12. Yeah, I believe he drove this car at the Martinsville race. And on top of that, he also won the Talladega race. So where the hell is the winner sticker above the B pillar? There's no winner sticker, and it's got the wrong decal for the playoff uh, for, for the for, for, for the playoff round. Oh my God, Lionel. You guys just don't care anymore. You guys absolutely do not care. I mean, how? I mean, <laughs> I wish I could say this is a prototype wave, but my God, guys, if that actually ends up being uh, on all the cars, that is pretty embarrassing. I mean, I mean, the diehard fans out there, the diehard NASCAR fans who look at their cars and want accurate cars, are gonna immediately notice that. I mean, even for a mile away, you can't even just tell something's wrong with this car. I mean, it is a great looking car regardless. We got ourselves yet another Menards scheme to match with the uh, 
with the other ones like the Libman and the uh, Knopf car. And we're also getting his Jack Lynx car as well for 2020. So we have some, a good variety of Menard schemes. I am really disappointed that Lionel made that mistake, but can't say I'm not surprised, but whatever. But overall, guys, the 2020 wave, the first wave of the NASCAR Athletics 2020 wave line, I must say, um, I'm digging all the 164 exclusives. I mean, I know most of them are race wins, and some people are going to have a problem with that. But um, And then the other two are playoff cars, but and one throwback as well. Well, actually, two throwbacks, but I'm talking about exclusive cars. But, you know, this is a pretty good wave. It is. I mean, I, I think that, uh, that there were a lot of surprises in this wave that I did not expect. So, uh, my expect expectations were subverted, <laughs> definitely. So, thank you, Lionel. But, um, yeah, guys, I, 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 these, this wave is not at the Lionel Racing store yet, guys. Um, like I said, uh, Nick is the only person out there who has this since he won the NASCAR Authentics uh, giveaway for the for the hashtag Authentics fan. So expect to know that guy a lot more now, and you know, feel free to subscribe to him because you know he's going to be our Lord and Savior when it comes to uh, these leaked reviews. So shout out to him again, real quick. Uh, that's Nick R underscore uh, forty two. That's uh, Nick R underscore forty two. Thank you again for the photos and. And, yeah, guys, 2020 waves are here, so let's get the hype going, guys. And feel free to comment below which diecast you guys like the best in this wave. And what do you guys think of the uh, packaging design, the overhaul that they have for this year? Are you guys liking it, or you guys want them to go to the back to the original design? I mean, I always want to hear guys' thoughts and opinions. But, yep, guys, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, take care, and hopefully I will get better in the next video because, God almighty, I, <laughs> I, I'm a hot mess right now. So... Especially with all these line now quality errors. But, yep, guys, I'm going to head out and I will catch you guys on another NASCAR Authentics review.